Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Marshall. You guys, I've never quite made a video like the one I'm going to feature today. Uh, you typically see guns, uh, firearm reviews, uh, metal detecting, and things like that on my channel. But uh, I wanted to do a review on graphics cards, on, on you know, video engine cards. Uh, now, the reason why I'm, I'm doing this today it's it's simple. It's, it's I'm guessing that probably 40% of my viewers uh, are on an actual desktop or a computer device, uh, not just a cell phone or some type of handheld. And uh, you know, if you're into uh, snappy computers, if you're into you know video cards, gaming, uh, video rendering, any type of you know heavy application, it's been a long time now, you guys. Let me let me go ahead and show you something. Uh, this is my the current computer that I'm on right now. This is my Strix 1080 Ti, and I have a 9700K that's air-cooled with a vapor chamber cooler there. So this is something that I know quite a bit about. I've actually built over 40 systems. I've been doing this for a long time. I've probably had my hands on, I'd say, at least 30 to 30 to 45 GPUs that I've purchased just to do builds for friends and sell here within the past few years. And for everyone out there that's budget oriented, that you really want to get the most bang for your buck, uh, I just wanted to share a few thoughts today. But the main thing I want to talk about are, is these these two cards, the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. Now, I've had 3080s, I've had 2070 Supers, I've had you know 960s, GTX 970s, I've I've had 770s, I've had 780s, 780 Ti's. I actually have a 780 Ti in this box. I'll I'll show you and that's uh I've had a lot of cards you guys. I've been gaming since 2006, back when like the the GTS uh 250 and just other, you know, old school the the 8800. Uh so PC gaming yeah, little stickers on here. PC gaming has been something that I've done for quite some time. Uh, now, let me show you. Like, I, I don't know what card you might have in your, your system. Now, like I said, this isn't the Asus Strix that's in here because I have the 1080 Strix in my bedroom computer. But I have a 780 Ti in this box just for safekeeping. Now, this was Kepler, I believe. And then when you get to the 900 series, you're in Maxwell. And then the, the 1080, the 1080 Ti, it's Pascal. So there's different driver engines. There's different stuff that uh, NVIDIA Corporation has used over the years, right? They, they keep updating. And now we're on, you know, then we have the 20 series, the 30 series, the 40 series. And you easily could. You could go out and you could spend, you know, $1,000 and buy the, or, or it might be a lot more than that now. It might be fourteen or 1500 for the, the latest and greatest, you know, RTX 4090 or whatever they're charging. But I just want to tell you guys, the 1080 Ti was a special card uh, and the 1080. If, if, you, if I was going to build a system today, which I actually did this last week, I actually decided to downgrade. I had a 3080 which I had had the card for about a year and a half, and I used it to play Player Battlegrounds Unknown and World of Tanks and also DCS World, the, the flight simulator. I had that in VR. And I was using a 3080 with a 9800X, which is kind of a more exotic CPU, but it's pretty much a 9700K, which is what I'm currently using, but it's just with the hyper-threading, eight cores, 16 threads. The, the 9700K is just a an i7 that's eight big cores, right? There's no hyper-threading. But it's still great for gaming, and it's what I'm making this video on right now. But what I, what I want to say, you don't need to go out and buy the latest and the greatest. Uh, let, let me explain. This 1080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of video memory. GDDR5, if I remember correct. So yeah, it's not GDDR6 like some of the newer cards, but it's GDDR5, and you're getting 11 gigabytes with this card. You're getting 8 gigabytes with the 1080. Now, the Strix model is a, a triple fan model, and it's awesome. Like, even under full load, you're only... Like, I was playing Red Dead Redemption in my bedroom with this card, and I mean, I was easily around, you know, 55 to 60 frames, and... Uh, playing it in 4K just with some adjustments to the game, uh, shadows or lighting, just little basic things like that. I still had settings on Ultra for the most part, and it was pulling hard. 
And with the 1080 Ti, I can pull even harder. You get a, you get about a 25 to 30 percent gain moving from the 1080 to the 1080 Ti. But I just want to say, I bought this card on eBay. I made an offer. I, I paid like 160 dollars tax and all for this 1080 Ti, and I see them like buy it now for around 210. And this video card is an excellent card to this day. Now, this is an EVGA model, which I really like this company. But it's just I don't see the benefit in, uh, in spending a whole ton of money to get the latest and the greatest. And the reason why I say that, when I had the 3080, I did a superposition benchmark test. And my score was like 14,900. Now, in the system that I just showed you right here, with the Strix 1080 Ti, which it looks like this, but it's the Ti model, my score was over 10,000. And I had this whole system built for today, just buying parts on Amazon and eBay for around 650. The other system cost me well over two grand, and it probably only pulled one third more power. So I was getting two thirds of the power for like, you know, 30% or less of the cost. And this is what I'm saying. The monitor that I'm uh, currently using here, it's a 34-inch widescreen Asus uh, 2K monitor. And it's it's a wonderful monitor for, for, you know, whatever. It's nice and wide. It You know, it's about the same height as a standard 27-inch, but they stretch it wide. And uh, I, I can just say, like, I was playing Hell Let Loose. I was playing PUBG. Uh, you know, I, I still hop on Counter-Strike 2, they call it. It's no longer Global Offensive. It's 2 now. And just for, for normal gaming, I really don't think you can beat a 1080 Ti. Even in 2024, with the current market prices, for $200, or if you get lucky like me and pick it up for 160 on Make an Offer, this is a killer deal right now. And, and the 1080 right here, I paid 135 for this from an eBay seller. Now, when I got these cards, I did dust them out. I took the screws off the back and I redid the thermal paste. It took all of about 15 minutes to repaste them uh, with GD900. That's my, my favorite. It's kind of like MX4. It's my favorite paste. But I tell you what, this, this card is a winner, the 1080 Ti. Uh, even a 980 Ti, you could pick one of those up for probably 80 bucks on eBay right now. It's just a, it's a, it's a killer time to get into PC gaming. I realize the mining thing has kind of died down, and if you just want a lot of bang for your buck, you know, you could pick up a 9th Gen i7 system, or you could even pick up an old X99 system and get a, you know, like one of those 24-core Xeons in there or something. Uh, I, actually, I think it's 18, 36 logical processors. Yeah, 18-core, 36-thread Xeons like the 2699 V4 or something. I mean, there's some really cool chips you can get on those boards. And you're just going to blow everything out of the water, and you can build these systems on a budget. So I just I hope this will help somebody out there. But really, you guys, I've had a ton of graphics cards, and my all-time favorite card, 1080 Ti, the Strix model. These, these, these coolers that they put on the Strix series, outstanding. And I'll show you what that card looks like. That's it right there. So awesome card, even under full load, it just, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't pull much, it <laughs> pull much heat. In other words, that, 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 that cooler, it keeps it very cold. And like, for instance, I was playing hell lit loose in 2k this past weekend. I was getting over a hundred frames on ultra settings. Uh, all I did was turn down shadow and lighting. It's a very smooth experience. So unless you have really deep pockets and just want to go out and, you know, see back in 2006, I was talking about this with a buddy. If you wanted the best computer on the market, you might spend 1500 or 2000 But today to go out and buy the best, if you go get in a 4090 or something like that, you, you're going to spend, you're looking at five to 7000 now to get the best of the best. And, and it's not necessary because the gains that you're going to get from that, you know, Price performance is what I'm focused on. And that 1080 Ti right there, I think that's still going to be solid for the next, probably the next five years to a decade.
so you guys, if you can pick one of these up for cheap on eBay, I totally recommend the 1080 Ti. This was a special card. Uh, I think NVIDIA po possibly even made a mistake with this card. The 11 gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, I can just give you some quick specs right here. Well, actually, I can. It's going to ruin the recording. But, you know, you're getting tons of CUDA cores. You're getting a good card. Uh, even a blower style like this EVGA model. That's fine. You know, you can set a custom fan curve, an MSI afterburner. You can have your fans go full, full load, 100% uh, whenever it hits over like 70 degrees Celsius or something. You can keep the card cool. And you can overclock these too. That's something I want to say. The, the, the Strix model that I have in the system that I've showed you a couple times now, I got the memory up to stable at 900 megahertz plus. And the, and the actual core clock, I'm only running about 130 plus. But it's a great card, you guys, even for 4K gaming in 2024. So I just wanted to make this quick video. I wanted to give you guys a shout. And because this is a Christian channel, you guys, please stick around for a quick Bible study. You know, God lets us have fun. He lets us do things in the earth, right? It's taste and see the Lord is good. Life is a gift. It's meant to be enjoyed. But we must remember uh, the provider, the one that the giver of gifts, God himself, that makes it all a reality for us. And, you know, he just asks us to love him with all the heart, mind, soul, and strength and love our neighbor as ourself, right? That's the commandments of Christ. Now, there's a scripture that I want to share today, and I want to go through Psalms chapter 34, and I'm in the New American Standard text here. Just listen to this. This is a very good psalm to read. Let me start. This here is actually Psalms 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. This is a psalm of David, by the way. David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked on him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. The poor man, this poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and rescues them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him, there is no want. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves length of days that he may see good? This is the scripture that brought me here right here, you guys. I remembered this verse. Now, all of this is good, but this particular verse. Who is the man who desires life and loves length of days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the, but the Lord delivers him out of all of them. He keeps all his bones, and not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. You guys, this section, this psalm, it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the best Psalms in the book of Psalms. I know there's a lot, but there's just so much meat here. There's so many wonderful promises that you can you can grab hold of. So I just I just hope this message blessed somebody out there. And uh, you know, you guys, it, it's like I said, God is good. You don't have to spend 
a thousand plus dollars to get a good gaming system. You could get a used motherboard with an i7 and put a two hundred dollar 1080 Ti in it and pretty much play whatever you want in 4K. Uh, I would think the worst that it possibly could do would be 45 or 48 frames, and with a few video settings, you'd be over 60. And if you drop it to 2K, you're over 100 FPS in most games with some kind of low ultra settings. You know, just you got to kind of maximize it. You know, shadows, lighting, turn stuff like that down. Some of the buffering or the, you know, the filtering. Uh, but keep your textures high or ultra. I mean, there's ways to do it. There's ways to optimize your game. And you can get good at doing that yourself. But just take a look at this card, you guys. I have no, I mean... There's, there's, I'm probably not going to upgrade for another five or 10 years unless they just, you know, <laughs> unless they drop another 1080 Ti or something that was on this level. The card was way ahead of its time. So you guys have a blessed day. And until next time, peace.